Hello Travelers, today we're taking a quick look and a bit of a quick review and hands-on with the new Urban G2 and the Urban G3. Now the G2 is this little, very small, flat pocket flashlight. And the cool thing about this one is it has a detachable keychain, which is also magnetic. So this is magnetic here, and you can see it attaches to magnetic surfaces, which will be handy for attaching it to places outside or, you know, work on your car or something like that. And the keychain here obviously attaches to your keys and um, just twists back on like that. Now the actual body of this is metallic and the top part here is plastic. And then the interesting thing here is at the top, you have the power button, but then when you open this, you have a USB-C, which is like one of the smallest places I've seen a USB-C port, and that is for charging the inbuilt battery. So now pressing the, pressing and holding the top turns it on. Pressing and holding it again, cycles through the different brightness settings. And then double tapping brings you to the maximum brightness setting. And then pressing and holding when it's off brings you to the lowest setting. Now this is, I forgot to mention, a 500 lumen light. And it has 280 milliamp hour battery. This, I believe, is the moon setting, which is the lowest setting, I believe. And pressing home, that is the second level setting. So that's the second setting, that's the third setting, that's the fifth setting, and then, oh, that, that is the lowest level setting there. And now if I double press it, that's the brightest level setting, which is the max 500 lumen setting. Uh, so that is very quite bright indeed. Uh, it doesn't last very long at this setting, so you probably want to stick to this setting, which is the lowest setting if you're walking around or wanting to use it for a longer period of time. And if you notice on the top here while I'm pressing it, um, there's a little LED, and I believe when it flashes blue, that means you, there's a certain percentage of power in there. And now you see it's flashing red, or the uh, actual light is red. That means there's less energy left. You can see there, there's now a red, which means I think that there's less than 10% battery left. So, so that is uh, the... Open G2, which I think is a really nice little everyday carry uh, flashlight to just carry in your pocket. Would easily fit in the small little jeans pocket, you know, the little side pocket on your pants, or, you know, in your bag, everyday carry bag, whatever. It does come in three colors. This is the uh, black color here, which I think looks very nice and sleek. I also have it here. Let's take a look in the, what you get in the box as well. This is the blue color. And that is a very nice blue there. And again, you can press and hold the top to cycle through the different brightness settings. This one here is the, uh, the very lowest setting, which I think is the one lumen setting. And uh, that will last for the longest amount of time as well. So that is also magnetic, and in the box you get a very small USB-C to USB-A charging cable. That's very handy. You also get this here, which is a attachment if you wanted to clip this to your belt. So you can see these notches here. And it clips into place like so. There we go. So then, if you wanted to, you could attach this, you know, to your, actually even a cap, you know, or um, a pocket, like a front pocket, you could attach it like that. Or anywhere that you have, anywhere that you could attach a clip. So that's another very useful attachment there. And that comes in the box. So now let's take a look here at the G3. Now the G3 comes in this really nice little metal tin. You can see it's a stainless steel double blade. And that is what it is. It's a very small and I have to say very cute looking um, 
double bladed, uh, double useful little everyday carry item. So again, this fits on your keychain and it has two removable parts. The top part here is a blade which is used for cutting boxes, you know, opening boxes. Um, I suppose you could use, use it for scoring things as well, scoring things open. Uh, and that magnetically attaches there. So magnets for attaching, covering a knife or a sharp blade probably isn't uh, the most secure. I probably would have preferred if that was a, like a screw on, but that is magnetic. The bottom one here, so the second one here is removed with a screw and that has a very tiny little pen, probably the smallest pen <laughs> that I've ever looked at on the channel. Um, but it's funny, I would have done that the other way around. I would have had the very sharp blade behind a screw on cap and I would have had the pen behind the magnetic one because for me probably in terms of if that magnet fell off in your bag that could cause a bit of damage or pain whereas the pen probably not as much but that is very small and extremely cute uh, now you also in this container here you actually get two of them uh, this one has a really cool pattern on it I don't know if you can see that very cool pattern and then you get a uh, five pen replacement nibs, which is very cool. And you also get a little strap to attach to the keychain if you wanted to carry that way. So let's take a look at this one as well. So again, this is magnet blade. And hold the middle there and then screw open for the teensy tiny little pen. So I do happen to have a box here which uh, I'm not using for anything but let's just see how sharp this blade is. So I'm just gonna cut there. So yeah it's pretty much I would say this blade is more for cutting through like tape you know unboxing uh, or scoring you know if you wanted to score something um, to split it so Sharp little knife, uh, good for opening boxes. So <laughs> the pen is, is very small. Um, it's quite unbelievably small. Um, so it could possibly be a little bit hard um, to use for some people. Uh, but let's just see here. There we go, just getting the ink running. So it writes, it does write quite well. Uh, it is, it does take a bit of getting used to because there's not any long end to kind of lean into. It's really basically you're writing with your fingertips, uh, but it definitely does get the job done. And yeah, it, it writes quite nice and quite legibly. So definitely good to have in your pocket for emergency use cases.